Okay, welcome everyone. Let's we'll start our first lesson. Before starting this lesson, quick introduction. My name is Anjum Sattar and my email address anjum at ukversity.co.uk. So please, if you have any questions, just drop me email on my email address. Uh, welcome. So let's we'll start. Uh, today lesson will go through LO1. LO1 meant by is a learning outcome one. Understand the key principle of English law. So we'll discuss key principle for English law and uh, we'll cover LO1. So before starting this module, this unit, first of all, we'll discuss, you know, what we're supposed to be learn. So we'll discuss our key contents for this unit, what we're supposed to be cover. <coughs> Okay, so just one second, I'll share with you. Everyone can see my screen, yes? Yes. Okay, good. So, okay, so welcome everyone, let's will. So we are doing unit one and they to provide our view English legal system to prepare the learner for more substantive study in the area of the English law. So it's a basic things we'll discuss under level three. Of course, level three is equal to A levels. And uh, we'll uh, uh, Mr. Andrew, excuse me. Uh, have you shared any screen with us? Because I can't see anything on my screen for now. Uh, okay, no problem. I'll share with you. Can you see now? Um, it's all black and blank. Uh, all right, now it's good. It's good. Okay, brilliant. Okay, well, it's good. Can we see now? Uh, I can see. No, I can't see you, no. No, you can see my screen. No. No. I can't. What about now? I can see. Uh, King can see Ben. Yes. yes uh, who ben else? Can see. I, I can see. Okay. So I think so. Everyone can see now because I shared from my side. So shouldn't be any problem. Okay. So okay. if still is an issue, we'll try to fix it. Okay, let's see. So today lesson will cover LO1. LO1, we have three assessment criteria to pass and one assessment criteria to get merit. So these will dis, uh, discuss today lesson and will address. Lesson two will go through LO2 and uh, which will understand the rules of statutory interpretation. It will go through lesson three. We know the organization and the work of the English court, how the English court layout, you know, that's we'll discuss. And lesson four will go through operational of the judiciary. So that will be in lesson four and today lesson we have inductive content, what we're supposed to be learn. Always good to be look around the keywords. So today lesson will be focused about the case laws. We'll discuss EU laws. We'll discuss criminal versus uh, civil laws, key difference, public versus private. And we'll discuss about uh, literal rules, golden rules, and all these, you know, the rules we'll discuss. So we'll try to be addressed this our inductive content in the second lesson and we'll carry on doing and we'll carry on learning so let's will so please when we'll go through the left les these lessons we'll go through command verb so today lesson key command verb is explain so what is meant by if in your assignment the word use is explained so you need to be addressed to give account of the purpose are the reason so you should mention the reason for this law why is it 
why is the civil law why is the criminal law what is the key difference between what are the reason behind why the government change the legislation all we have to justify our discussion so to address uh, and uh, this assessment criteria explain so when we'll go through other these command where we'll carry on discussing huh? anybody any question okay now please can you rate yourself what is current your knowledge about english legal system how much you know about it if you rate yourself just think few minutes and just think about where you can rate yourself one you're not confident you don't have any knowledge or uh, 10 you're really confident you have excellent knowledge what do you think scale 1 to 10 um before this before because i i went through this uh, before already is it before going through it or or now uh we can say before lesson uh, first of all you before already now. learned yes <clears throat> before i start the course uh was about uh, scale 3 to 4 between 3 to 4 okay so you're feeling now between 6 7 yeah uh, absolutely Okay, it means we move forward. Eh? We're learning something new, at least. Eh? Who else, please? Yes, anyone else? So I will remind myself, uh, maybe around three and four as well, okay, because I've four. gone through some of the of the of the coursework uh, on Moodle a bit. So um, just a light few knowledge about the English legal system. Okay, so we can say you know we can say overall fifty fifty. You know, yes, you know the basic. and maybe we need to some terminology we need to enhance is our knowledge eh? so we, maybe we mm. can move one or two points at like completing mm. okay good okay that's all next now we have this inductive content which we'll go through so what do we think about what is the key difference between criminal and civil law first please anyone Do we know the difference between civil and criminal law? Yes, criminal law is crime related, and civil law is civil disputes, etc. Uh, for example, boundaries of your uh, garden, boundaries of your uh, land, uh, civil disputes, uh, neighbourhood um, noise nuisance, etc. Courts, uh, tribunals, in regards to employment law. Excellent, great, well done. Welcome. And uh, what about the criminal? Criminal. Between... Would, yeah, the difference between criminal and civil is civil is uh, also something that you would have to look into, supporting an application and paying for that yourself. It's a, uh, it's not exactly against the law. It's a civil dispute, so you would have to talk to your MP, council, and then maybe um, the higher bodies. But criminal law would be crime, for example. driving without a license or driving whilst you are drunk and that's a criminal law that's a actual legislation that has been enforced by the parliamentary and you could look to go to court to get a fine or serve a custodial sentence so the two laws are the criminal is more uh, parliamentary based uh, and there's and it pushes a regulation civil law can be an ongoing dispute and there may not be no res- resolution or result with civil law but criminal law is mainly that law that's been legislated and that we must adhere to brilliant excellent great well done so gdpr we are aware of gdpr uh what is the gdpr stand for guidelines uh it's called general data protection regulation it yeah. old name gpa 1998 yes Yes, I understand some of that. Maybe if you just go over it again, then we can touch base. So it's called Data Protection Act, which is is a it's a law, it's a rule, it's a Data Protection Act. So act of so if we don't follow the act, it come under criminal. Like you may be heard about Facebook, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. They sold the details of lot of you know their users. So the case is in the European Court of Justice. so this is uh, will be our 
under the criminal it's a criminal investigation yes, yes sir. if you don't follow the rules it's a crime health and safety act is a 1974 at work if employer are implied don't follow it it can be goes to criminal it's a criminal matter yes yes like for example in salons and they must adhere to certain health conditions and regulations um, working within the beauty sector and again that sort of law is legislated by the council and stipulated down to the shire excellent so great so this is the like in term of coronavirus is implied and implies both responsibilities yes and yes. we have even it can be in court in this under this law as well huh? so which we need to will will go through the traditional techniques how we can interpret these laws yes yeah? traditional technique literal rules golden rule anybody ever heard or have you learned the terminologies anyone no 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 that's so that's no. which we'll go through uh, intrinsic and extrinsic do we know the what is meant by intrinsic and extrinsic internal external yes that's intrinsic all about intrinsic, yeah. so internal and external so within yep. or uh, outside so that's which we'll go through so i copied some links here please it's good to huh? so when we we can copy this link it's good to go through and we have a little mind map stuff so easy to memorize because i'm not using myself daily basis but this is really we need to learn in the code perspective so that's you know the difference between what is laws and things so further we'll go through mind maps in the next slide so that's i'll show you if you want to read in detail so okay. key term so first what is the what is the golden rules huh? so we'll go through rather the court will apply the statute which is law according to its ordinary and the neutral meanings is a written anything is a written yes neutral meaning which we normally call traditionally the golden rule approach which says the word stute must be interpreted in such a way that any manifestly observe the result does not arise from the interpretation yes is a neutral yes it should be interpreted <clears throat> Did you get it what is meant by golden rule yes mm -hmm. we interpret what about the mischief rules is one three rules that we need to be traditionally applied in the english court main aims of these rules to determine and defect the suit and the question has set to be remedies so key is the remedies yes so the rule which would guide us about the remedies what will be remedies again anything if we don't fulfill it yeah how we can settle it what ruling would be press and mischief in advance remedies so that's come real the remedies under this so which will go through further what about the literal rules is the interpretation should be first rule applied by judge so when we go to the court the judge first look the literal rules yes so literal rule is the first rule applied by the judge then they can look around the golden rule and other remedies yes what can be because we know the case law do we know the what is meant by case law mm, no okay case law you know one law is passed by the parliament then of How course we mean? need it become act a parliament then the this is a case law in the court yes because that may be the law being uh been passed 10 20 years ago but the technology is changed now that law is not fit now but we can look around in the wider interest of the public and the judge can give the decision based on it that's become a case law yes it's not a set stone yes it different situation can be different law can in Anyway, I've got to run around now. I've got to get, take some pictures. That's all. I've got to go be able to. Okay. Okay. Yes, please. Any, any, any question here? 
No. Okay. No. So thus we we can look around the literal rule, which is a clear lease, and the judge should be follow the first. Then can we can look around the other rules, yes, which is the golden rule, and we can look around remedies one. Okay. So next, this link, we can copy this link, and we can look around some mind maps. Huh? Those will help us to clear our further concept. Uh, can we the link you're saying the link i can't see the link now okay can you see now screen yeah. link within a slider mm. so in the note uh, this slide you will see that you can little bit move up yes your and you can see under there is the links you know all these few uh, slides the links excuse me the link will be um on moodle on on, on the uh on the PowerPoint layout, uh, or do you have to copy yes. that now? Uh, no, no. What we'll do, I'll update you know these slides. Huh? These are the latest one, which I'll update on the Moodle, huh? and All we'll right, update. Okay. So you can find yes. there. You really don't need to. All right. Right. Awesome. Uh, so next, now we we'll look these. You know, describe what is meant by this mischief rules. Is a gap or the error in the law? Yes, there is a gap. There is an error. They are not solve all the problems. So judge is look. It, is it a gap or a window of opportunity for the solicitor? <laughs> ah, yes, it's a window of opportunity. So judge can interpret it. It become like that's why we we use some in term of the case laws. Yes. Yep. But we we've been given the guidance. Data Protection Act. I should follow it. Yes. I not sell the data to someone else, yes, which is a clear guidance. But sometime in some data, like that, it was the before 2016, 2016, we used to call DPA, Data Protection Act 1998, yes. Mm -hmm. And then because we are dealing with the lot of electronic data, mm -hmm. have you feel? Any change, you know, like after 2016 or we can say after 2018, really implement. So when you get your email, are you receiving any message with it? You know, when any when you go any website, cookies, yes. Do you mm -hmm. know the yep. cookies? It says mm -hmm. accept cookies or not, yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So is lot you know emails came even even the company you was registered before they are sending you email can we keep your data or not you need to give the consent to them yes mm -hmm. oh. otherwise yep. by law they're not supposed to keep your data anymore because okay. the data protection so that's why this is general data protection regulation is apply more on the electronic data yes because we have we dealing with electronic files now. Yes, we yes. need to make sure company they have to be system in place. So there was a big gap that time. Yes. So yes. at that point, if any case happens, so judge can use this rule. Yes. And mm -hmm. can reward the remedies because there wasn't clear things in this. It can be happened sometime in the real situation. What your because we need to look around the intention behind. We need to look around the situation behind. We need to be in various interpretations separately especially to charge in the criminal matter, yes? Because mm -hmm. the remedies can be in terms of paying money or not paying money or in the civil law. But in a criminal law, these are very crucial. Describe the literal. What is the literal then? That was the, and the old, okay. oldest rule that should be used first, yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Based on the neutral, Ordinary dictionary meanings, yes, mm -hmm. and should be used even it leads to the it's a bit changed now, yes, it absorbs a lot of things, and there mm -hmm. are the case laws against because they have become a case law. So, when this become a case law, yes, and judge can look around first the neutral things, yes, old. So I can look around the old case laws and the new case laws as well, yes? Case laws carry on chaining, which is based on the legislation. In, any question? No. 
Okay, then next is the golden rule. So what is the golden rule then? Is a narrow approach to the least observed meaning, yes? Broad and the wide approach and modify the meaning. You can modify it, use the professional. We use the word professional judgment, yes? Mm. So, of course, in the case, sometimes the scenario is very difficult, yes? We can should be relied on the factually, but we should be relied on the moral and ethical. So law is the one side, moral and ethical things we need to keep in mind as well, yes? Yeah. So in the wider interest of the public, always we need to keep in mind. So this is described the golden rule, yes? And we have a lot of mm -hmm. these are the case laws under this. Anybody, any question? Is there anything, sir, uh, the call narrow approach or something in the in the golden rule? Uh, this is it's a least observed in a meaning because it's a narrow approach. Uh, we can look around. I'm just looking, you know, the like. Let's say, you know, if I'll give you an example. First of all, you know, you break the traffic signal, yes. Mm -hmm. G went to the red one, yes. Okay. So is, you, break, you break the law, yes. Mm. Be, then we can look around why you break it, yes. Maybe you're saving someone's life, yes. Yeah. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to hospital, are you taking somebody, yes? Then we can mm -hmm. further look. Is it is it your responsibility or is it? The thought is responsibility, but you think morally instead of you wait for the ambulance, you took someone. Yes. Mm. Like if I'll say to you, you know, in most of the places, if you're working in our organization, we have a first aid box. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And somebody is somebody is really feeling pain. Yes. What do you think? You will give the painkiller, or somebody will take the painkiller? What you what you will guide to someone? You will give the painkiller pen to someone or you will guide to someone is a box there and you can take. Okay. What you will do in that scenario? If somebody asks you, give me painkiller, please. And you have a first aid, yeah. you have a medicine there. So what you will do now? Yeah, no, naturally I will walk over and uh, take and give the person the painkiller. Okay, that's that's come under the that's come under the criminal activity. We're not supposed to give the medicine to someone. Okay. We can say to somebody, is the medicine there? Yes. And you can take it. Yes. <laughs> because. Okay. And the person is really very sick. Oh. Even in that case, you know, we're supposed to be involved other people. Not your judgment, yes. Maybe you don't know about it. If the painkiller can be give the reaction to the body, but the individual make the decision in that situation can be. So we can look around different. What is the rule there? Yes. Okay. We can further right. write down what situation you did it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we can make the decision about is it right and wrong? Yes. So okay. it's not because the UK or the legal system. We have, we have no doubt parliament there, but we lot of case laws there. Case laws is a crucial, yes? Hmm. And we can look around different cases. Why? Why this? Maybe judge can give the ruling, oh, you did absolutely fine in that situation. Yes? And we can give to them uh, uh, not wide, you know, interpretation about things. Huh? Any hmm. question there? No. Okay, then we have one approach is called progress purposive approach. We can say yes. So this approach, what is the approach? You not look the you look the purpose behind it, yes? Which is normally used we use EU derivative, EU directive, yes. EU some legislation to interpret as well. Look at the parliament intention when passing the act. When the act was passed, what why they pass at that time? Why, what is happening now on the ground reality, yes? Should we use for EU laws? We can look around different and we have some case laws we can look around. 
Any question there? No. Okay. Next, we have different types of intrinsic award. What is meant by? So, Lord, we can look around the long and the short title. You know, in the law, when we say Act is DP in 1998, yes? Mm -hmm. So, this is a short, yes? And the long, long, we can furtherly explain it, yes? We can add it in within it, yes, internally. We can go and beat it because we can look around the case law between this and this and this here. As long as you don't read it thoroughly inside it, you can't really make it full. So we need to look around the marginal notes and we can interpretation section within it. How we can interpret the law in different situations. So this is the intrinsic, yes, you go and deeply dig out the law itself, huh? and different types of extrinsic aids, we can look around different dictionary, different textbook, and different things in the law commission reports, yes, and then you look the external reports about these, huh? you look within the law and you look the external report about these, yes, different people's interpretation. Any question there? Um, may I, can I ask a question, please? Yes, sure. What if there's a conflict between the intrinsic and the extrinsic? Um, or is that, or maybe I should ask whether there should there could be a conflict between the two in the first place? Okay, always, you know, whenever the decision, whoever, who, always they look the wider interest of the public. Yes. Okay. Maybe we can protect one person or we can protect whole society, yes? Okay. So we see it's a government responsibility to provide the food, yes, needy. Mm -hmm. So we need to look around. And if somebody is doing robbery, yes, okay. and somebody say, oh, no, 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 I did it because I was hungry, yes? Mm -hmm. So you need to look around. In If you leave it now, what effect will be as a society? So you need to be grounded, yes? Like in the past, you know, different laws in different countries. So they have different their own, they are saying, you know, they are doing it like, you know, chopping hands in different part of the world. Eh? So we need to look, especially in Saudi Arabia. So we need to think about where maybe they're thinking as a wider interest of the public. Are we're not going in the deep discussion about the religious beliefs and things, but we're just looking in the law perspective. Eh? Mm -hmm. So we can make some judgments. Huh? Mm -hmm. And the judge, judge is meant by the making the judgments. Huh? We, as a human being, we can't maybe look, I look in my favor and we look in your favor and everyone in own favor huh? interpret mm -hmm. the law. So, but we need to look around in overall society what effect will be. Okay, then next now, we, next we're looking at explain the different method by which the laws are made. Different method, how we can make the laws, yes? Okay. Anybody knows what is the first step to make laws or stages in the law making? Is it Some type of petition? Okay, yes. Uh, somebody will write... Uh... A proposal. So the, the what house. is the proposal, proposal called then? Can you see my screen? Yes. The bill. Yes, we can say first green paper. Yes. The green paper. Yeah. Then it's become a white paper. Yes. Uh mm -hmm. Then we have a first reading. Mm -hmm. Then we have a second reading. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, in different house level. Yeah, in different houses. Then yeah. it goes to the committee stage. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, standing committee, we can call all this, you know, up to 16 to 15 MPA. Yes, in the select committee. Yes. Then they report, that be become the reporting stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the committee pass and then goes to the reporting stage. Then it become the third reading, and this is often a formality, yes? Mm -hmm. 
to lead the you know for the look around is how will be the limited power of house of lord yes okay the lord amend to the belly yes? and return to the common again a uh, stage and lord amendments considered approximately 90% of the lord amendment are accepted yeah so okay. 10% then it's become a law yes hmm. what Royal. does the go the house of westminster is that just the proposal no yes uh, because the westminster the green papers and the for the just stage you know the committee yes they have within that yes parliament mm -hmm. so that's you know they debate in parliament yes before that then they pass to the committee and then committee pass to yes and then it maybe the voting against you know sometime huh? the lord mm -hmm. will return it huh? they say come on yes we need to do what you may be yes if you look you know the in term of the brexit what happened you yeah. know initially <laughs> the debate was on this stage yes the court was saying different thing yes parliament was saying different yes court said to give to the public yes right to and even mm -hmm. the historical case you know they become a case law the one of the business person she went into the court yes mm -hmm. so these you know we, we can look around the stages huh? and that's to address it and then we've been given in these slides these already is discussed or maybe we don't need word by word but that's at least you know we have a basic understanding so introduction stage can be then first reading second reading committee stage report stage and the third reading and then it can be become a final act. so they gave slightly different because they can add a few more stages as well but end of the day it's become a law at that stage huh? when the lord will pass huh? any question and if the bill started at the lords at the lords at the house of lords it goes back and forth back again yes it can be go back to they say come on you need to be changed this to be four will say and become a law itself huh? okay. few amendments can be at different stages huh? a bill is a proposal for the new laws or the proposal to the chain in existing laws so for example a lot of for example a lot of people want to challenge the 5g so they will write to the mp councillors then they will propose that in the house of commons and then they will decide whether it should be go to a petition and if a lot of people want that then they will take it to the westminster and back to the house of lords and then they will challenge it and then they will decide from there so this is something that's up and coming and which is uh, transparent and also um now so it's a uh, we, so we're in that right now so that's a fine example of how the bill is made uh, yes mm. you're absolutely right well done mm. so thus you know we can look around these and a uh, lot of in the past you know like uh, is carry on moving forward and backward huh? so a lot mm -hmm. of bills you know, carry on happening so, so like anybody when, can write the petition then yes the like think hs2 and hs3 yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the far is a lot of discussion was is not a cost effective is a 56 million what will be so end up a day whatever you know like uh, ethro uh mm. airport you know that uh, terminal 5 and the extended uh, so okay. a lot of people even our current prime minister yes, was against it yes so mm. so we need to think about because the, the end of the day we need to look around the wider interest of the public because maybe the and people will affect due to of course end uh, of the day, who has the last word <laughs> that's a good question yes you're <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, we we can argue here yes house of lords is fine but that's but it's a some time huh? difficult a bill can yeah. be start and the common are the lord and the must be approved in the same from the both houses huh? before becoming both houses huh? first reading mm -hmm. can be is been explained really i don't need to go through in detail but you can read yes 
the first mm-hmm. reading but we can uh yes first reading first stage of course yes first reading will can be take place at any time yes short title can be and publish as a house of common paper yes which we call green paper and the first opportunity mp can be data then the second reading is the first opportunity mp is to debate and the main principle of the bill yes Oh. and the government ministers and then debate continues yes opposition party maybe say different things yes current government says in a favor then in the parties maybe against and in a favor yes mm-hmm. like especially these may really suffer from it yes mm-hmm. okay then it become the committee stage yes mm-hmm. this is the explanation bills take place usually start with a couple of weeks yes build the second reading but it's not mm-hmm. a guarantee yes. then the further carry on at the committee stage look you know the various and then report stage yes it give the mp opportunities on the floor of the house to consider further amendments yes proposal maybe we can are in the favor our motions whatever you know uh, like a votes in the parliament yes yeah the fifth the guest and uh, then the th- third reading can be again yes amendments reading and then mm-hmm. first reading in lords yes that stage then second reading in lord third reading and the committee stage so in the lords can be stages as well yeah mm-hmm. and then consideration amendment and then become a law and then it become a lot the, sometimes you can watch it on tv as well when they do the on the parliamentary challenge it's it's, it's very amusing <laughs> uh, yes it's i mean uh, five with four on sky yeah? so which yeah. is mm-hmm. parliament channel always debates carry on happening yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. okay so this is all about so these are the stages we can say or we can divide them yes mm-hmm. and the amendments and the laws mm-hmm. okay then that was the r 1.1 and 1.2 is the differentiate between the criminal civil laws yes you know yeah. already criminal is a criminal yes civil is a civil so somebody have we, we finished some, this now the stages uh sorry before we continue have we finished the stages now in the yes yes we finished the law. Yes. then from the laws you will have... say to royal assent or something is that yes that's you know become the law itself huh? when okay. it's so passed yeah. who takes it to the to the to the queen for royal assent is it the prime minister yeah the queen <laughs> end of the day you know queen okay. can amend it any laws yes okay yeah and then it becomes the it's act the queen, the... so the so the queen has a last word <laughs> yes last word you know we can say you know the stamp on it yes is become a law okay yeah. now the you prime minister not... involved oh sorry yeah sorry go on is the prime minister involved uh, from the house of lords to the queen i mean does it is it is it the one to take it he or she the one to take it to the queen for uh, the assent maybe sometimes queen can say to parliament pass this law yes parliament can debate it come back to queen again huh? and right. then queen sign it Uh, because end of the day whatever they are doing they looking the wider interest yeah? Okay. yeah okay it also depends what people say and what you know people are if they're complaining about the lockdown that's a fine example you know this recording are you going to send it us via email so we can look at it again if we need to oh uh, yes sure that will be recording available on moodle as well huh? oh brilliant <clears throat> okay so then... okay So the, the queen queen has a opportunity uh, to change anything but as you said it will still be in the interest in the general but, interest of the people but normally 99.9 percent queen queen don't want to be conflict too much with parliament because the parliament represent the people sentiment as well okay yes yeah. yeah. no, the no, prime no. minister paid to do the job so the queen can relax <laughs> <laughs> okay then. okay sorry will not say okay let's you know criminal and civil so someone wrote very good definition criminal is a criminal civil is a civil law mm-hmm. so 
criminal is mean the is a between the government and individual and civil mm-hmm. is between civil and the organization right okay. that's the civil law is a civil matter so civil matters go into civil court civil which will also, go is civil also a dispute between you and your neighbor uh yes it can be between you and your organization <clears throat> and between you and the civil is a civil matter yes uh-huh. yeah, yeah. so it goes to civil court yes but civil matters can lead to be maybe something on the criminal matters yes is very serious yeah. yes yeah. that can be lead to the criminal yeah that's correct okay so civil is place to ensure the individual are the protected from one another yes Okay. Yeah. And civil damages like bank, you know, not really fulfill the quickly settle your check, and that they should pay you penalty. I mean, some damages now. Yes, yeah? are the employer yeah. or various other area. You know, we can look around the civil laws. It's a tort laws, civil partnership. You know, uh, marriage contract. Yes, yeah? is come under civil law. Yes, give me a pass. So that's we can. and there are lot of uh, things you know we can look around uh, you know what is meant by contract commonly let's you know we'll discuss what be, what come in your mind contract what should be in contract contract um, uh holiday leave uh, no is it, is it what do you think what should be in a contract in a contract oh, of work no. in employment no not just employment it can be contract anything can be contract Between... acceptance oh, sorry no sorry that's my old what i used to know of contract there has to be offer and there has to be an acceptance i don't know okay, whether that's, that's relevant that's here a legal and binding uh, a legal and binding signature and both parties get a uh, copy and the first one is a health and safety act yes can be yes so we can say any contract need to be offer they need to be acceptance yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they need to be consideration ah huh? yeah consideration offer yep so is it not meant by you know lot of companies call you and you pick the phone like someone who wasn't you know properly uh, sometimes is a listening issues or sometimes speaking issues so mm-hmm. the guy said every every call he used to say yes 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 Hmm. Yes. So when you say <laughs> yes. yes, 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 so it's become a contract. Yes, it's a verbal because nowadays it's not mean you write it, you sign it. It become a verbal contract. If you're receiving a call on your landline phone or mobile, just listen it. Don't say yes it because it's become a contract because they can prove oh. in the court that yes, like oh. you know the it's a contract over the phone. Wow. Yes, mobile phone contract. Yes. maybe you said i never sign it yes mm you are arguing and you never sign it you are absolutely right you never sign it but you are in a contract is a verbal contract yes okay so what you, what existed what you can do anybody heard about sar sar maybe no is called subject access request oh yes subject access request one other meaning as well which will go suspicious reports as well but we not going for that but normally we use this for this purpose huh? subject access request under data protection act 1998 and now gdpr 2016 if i'm right with the year so we we have a right to be any information whatever they record anybody ever apply ppi do we know the ppi yeah mm-hmm. yeah, I, yeah i did sometimes so yeah. payment protection insurance yeah. every individual have a right to ask anyone to give me my sar my file what you record it yes so yeah. you log document you not sure you paid it or you done you not paid it in the past maybe in 1980s yeah even so mm. the if you write to the bank yes mm. let's say bank is a halifax yes mm. 
mm. and say give my SAR yes and I want all record yes and legal fees is legal fees is ten pound please. You need to fill the form proof of ID or proof of address. Ten pound they will send you a whole file whatever they are holding. Even the voice recording as well. You have a right to get the CD even. You know, mobile mm -hmm. company saying you said yes. You're saying no, no, I, I wasn't agree on this price. I was agree on this price. But you don't have any evidence for it. You can get SAR. Yes. And all the conversation, whatever they recorded, they have a they should provide you by law. Okay. And then you can look around. If you paid it PPI, just fill the form and send. If you apply through the PPI company, they keep you around 40% of your money yeah? as a commission. Oh. So that's the earning for them. So oh. that thing is a simple process. Fill the form, get the record, fill the form and send them. Yes? Yep. Any question? Okay. So as a civil and the, then we have a public law and the private law. Do we know the public law and the private law? What is the key difference? Public law like nuisance act or uh, you know noise and nuisance possibly. Yes, within the, within the private is a private matter. The private is come under civil law. Mm -hmm. Yep. Probably and the government. Yes. So it can be goes in the court in the civil and the private courts. Huh? So okay. yeah. Then we can say common law and the civil law as well. Yes. Common is more criminal. Yes. So the key difference between them. This slide is provide you good difference. Yes. Definition civil deal with the dispute. Yes. Between individual and organization. Criminal between government so and individual. Not so that would not be like Crown Court or High Court. That would be the private court, like a civil dispute court. No, civil matters go in the civil court. That can goes into High Court. But there is a civil division bench. There are the different benches, huh? which will go through yes. the following. Division. So, so that's, you know, different division. Huh? Then okay. first, thing, first thing is a mistake court and the civil court in any district. Any, you know, the city, like we, in Leeds, we have a civil and criminal court. In uh, in Birmingham and different part of the UK, civil and criminal court, yes? Yeah? Yeah. goes to high court, huh? Then the jury opinion, then the case field at the case laws, we can look around. Then we can make the decision and the standard proof, huh? So this is a civil and the criminal matters. We can dif differentiate between them, huh? Okay. Okay. Uh, we can look around. Next, now we look the public and the private law. Public law mm -hmm. earlier we said yes. Public is between yes. Public yes, like you know between the government and the public and the private okay. is a civil law. Mm -hmm. you know, maybe you heard about public sector organization. Have we heard public sector? Yeah. Yeah. Public organization, what those are? Like NHS, yes? Yeah? Yep. So these are the public sector. We know the private sector, private companies, yes? Mm -hmm. Like sole trader, whatever, yes, partnership, business, these can be. Mm -hmm. And the companies, yes? yes? Companies yeah, so can these are the private sectors and yeah. nhs home office and various other these are the public sector yes yeah? their yeah. main purpose not on profit their main purpose to earn profit yes mm. and the key difference between them and uh, we deal accordingly public and the private sector into public laws yes we can look around the constitutional, which is related to administrative laws, to manage the citizens, yes, taxation, and criminal laws, yes. All these come under the public laws. 
Okay, next now. And next we need to look around the public class. And uh, next we have a private lab. Yeah. Normally we these this slide will explain it itself. More details read from there. So public, constitutional, administrator, and criminal, and civil law are we call private law is a contract law, tort law, trust, and the family law. Yes, this all come mm -hmm. under the civil. Any question? No. So basic difference we need to be what tools are and what's come underneath. Huh? Yep. Okay. So that's okay. there. Okay. Next now we have to play the game. Huh? Can oh, we yeah. play? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's please. Uh on your screen, can you see my screen? Yes. Yep. Right. Okay, let's will play Kahoot. Okay. Uh, please on your search button, if you just type Kahoot it, please. Just write Kahoot it in your search button, yes. Like Google search, whatever. Huh? Just what? type this. Huh? Sorry. Kahoot. Yes. Just just type Kahoot it. Yeah. Uh, on that on 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 Google Chrome. I mean on, on oh, yes. internet browser. I can write here Kahoot it. Yeah. Can you see? Yes. Just type Kahoot it. It asks you the pin number. Huh? Well, yes. Kahoot it. Enter the pin number. Huh? Just type, you know, copy this Kahoot. So the pin nine, six, yeah, and then Kahoot it. Pin nine, two, five, seven, yes, Kahoot dot it dot it. Yes. Okay. I you will. Eight. Sorry, I didn't get that, sir. Five, okay, sorry. Um, is it called Kahoot? Can you see at the top? Yes. Kahoot C A H O O T. Kahoot it 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 yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Pin number is nine two two five seven seven two. I can yeah. I can send I can send you the link you know in your chat chat you can click it it opener just click it. So, I mean, oh yes you there the good. Uh, we'll play in a minute. So let's and just just click it and just enter the pin number. Huh? Oh great! So we are. Who else there? Anyone else? No, we are. We are two now. Okay, let's please. So, what you will see on your screen, you will look on my screen, yes? And on your screen will yep. show different colors, huh? You need to pick the right color for the question answer, huh? When you do once, you will get it, huh? Oh, okay, yeah. I'm lost there, huh? Oh. So you 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 will see these four colors on your screen, huh? Yep. And maybe you need to move around and you click it. Which of these statements most accurate describe the English legal system? Um. Uh, 
as quick you answer you will get more points yes yeah? so just for yep. fun okay i kept a lot of time for this okay so it is the concept okay don't worry it's just a matter of you know we getting the concept huh? the purpose huh? okay next now we look the cute law refer to what is this refer to so we have four options and you need to pick the color huh? which one the which flow question 2 question 2 No answer. No question. Sorry. No, no. Yes, it's a question two at the top. Yes, it's not written the question number. You can pick, you know, any color from your. Uh, it's a just we learning yep. through this here. It's not a quiz, please. Uh, don't consider it a quiz. I'm te not testing. Ah, uh, anything. Just we developing. <laughs> okay is law created by parliament in the form of legislation we call yes statute yes law is become a law yeah? mm -hmm. parliament pass yeah. okay next now third what is the difference between private law and the public law Private related to individual and public law related to institution. Yes, yeah. between government and. Ah. Uh. Don't worry. They they just the way ask. The what is meant by civil law? Civil law is it? is it a private law and involved relationship between individual or is it enforcement where do you click on the other side well done yes yeah, correct oh oh you know <laughs> okay which uh, standard proof in the criminal law This is a quick. Uh, I said, is it ten second left? Yes, ten second left. Quickly choose seven seconds, six seconds, four, two. Uh, prosecution to beyond the reasonable doubt. If there is a doubt, it can't be charged as a criminal. Yes. No. You know, there is a doubt, so we need clear proof for it. That's why CPS. You know the CPS. Yes. Crown prosecution Crown. service. Yes, yeah. so they can say sorry we like we have a lack of evidence. Yes, especially you may be heard about lot of uh, rape cases and various other cases. Yes, they dropped yes because they don't yes. have a proof to charge individuals. So they don't want to wait and take the case to court and then look funny in front of the judge. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So who bring the criminal case to court? Yes. The victim of the crime. Or... The state in uh, the name yes. of the crime. Yes. Yeah. So, who bring the claim in the civil case? In civil case, we call. What we call uh, a claimant. Sorry. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. 
is a just a matter of you know well done great right yes next what is meant by common law the law is reviving by parliament body of law which is emerged by the court driving case yes well done uh, law is the case yes from the case is that's called case law common law i i think i'm lost now uh, okay you need no to uh, shorten the screen and then you can bring it onto the screen uh, yes is it is a quick you know was i think so is a time not be it should be 60 second huh? so <laughs> to be successful studying the law as a student what are you supposed to be learn all the rules consider the law or both b and c which one we think oh. think carefully about law where appropriate yes criticize it yes in the in the shape yeah, of the yeah. first law okay. second law yes yeah. which one is a useful for student is a paper based resource a textbook or the electronic based or both or neither of above well done so last what is the case last hmm law represent the decision of the yes court because the court decision yes is the case law Mm. So previous so the law, law can, the court yes. can decide over the parliamentary yes. law. No, right. no, not just the parliament. You know, the previously maybe court give any decision, yes. Like mm. you maybe heard lot of landmark cases, ah, huh? where the court give the judgment, yes. Not yeah, only based on yes. the parliament law, the interpretation what they interpret, ah, huh? become mm. a case law. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay so now is the time to celebrate yes Mhm All right Okay so well done Hi. So that's you know all and uh, today lesson we learn about the different terminology I copy the link for you within my slides yes So you know i prepared some mind maps and managed to find the mind maps even so you can copy this link which is given in the slide and you can open this padlet yes and you will find this lesson one yep. you can find the english legal system all the key terminology is a mind map yes even you can print yes all the terminology if you want to remember and then uh, we have a how we can interpret yes Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like will we will this all be on Moodle? Uh yes. Uh this will be Moodle I can email you as well if you want. So mm-hmm. these you know all will be there and uh, all the reference and the recommended things are there in case if you and if my email is there at the beginning uh, slide if you have any question. So today lesson we learn about yes three are assessment criteria and we discuss about uh civil criminal we discuss about how we pass the laws and the stages that was the key discussion if you have any question you can drop me email i can send you more stuff huh? so we'll keep up to here and i hope i'll speak you during next lesson no problem right. thank you yeah.